Grand Rapids Public School Superintendent Bernard Taylor gave his fourth annual State of Our Schools address this morning at Ottawa Hills High School. He says despite progress being made, cuts from Lansing are paving a hard road ahead. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson has more. Discussions of matters like this. Beginning with cuts and accomplishments, Superintendent Taylor highlighted 49 schools meeting adequate yearly progress, including all middle and high schools. The district cutting $70 million out of the operating budget over 10 years, the closing or consolidation of more than 20 schools and programs, and the trimming of jobs. We privatized, downsized, right sized, green sized, econo sized slim sized and value sized for the past 10 years. But Taylor says the future reality includes a $25 million budget shortfall paying more for benefits and possible layoffs. And with the state raising cut scores for academic testing, he says 60% of schools may be sent back to square one. Meaning that many of the schools that are meeting AYP today, this time next year will not be. GRPS is scaling back the blended learning model from three days to two, and Taylor unveiled a new academic readiness task force that will assess a student's readiness to attend college and address achievement gaps between races. And while he proposes accelerated college credit programs through partners like Grand Rapids Community College, Taylor says he'll also seek a waiver from the State Department of Education that would allow students in GRPS to take up to six years to graduate if needed. What is the sense of saying to someone, go to college when you're not ready, when we can use additional time to make you more ready? But the creation of crisis, Taylor says, is coming from Lansing. He says Governor Snyder's proposed budget would cut $470 per pupil, costing GRPS $5.6 million. On top, he says, the governor is proposing to raid the $500 million school aid fund balance by lumping colleges and universities with K-12 schools. We have to make sure that, again, whatever we do to restart the economy, it is not done on the backs of children. In Grand Rapids, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8. When asked why he decided to stay in Grand Rapids instead of pursuing a job opportunity in Syracuse, New York, Taylor got emotional and said the reason was in part personal but had a lot to do with his love for his current city.